Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be pretty fun and I kind of just came up with this because I have so many Project Lifeguards, you guys. Oh, sorry, there's ink on my hands. Uh, just ignore that. Um, I have so many Project Life cards. I probably have the equivalent of, I mean, let me just count here real quick. Nine. I have nine core kits and then like a bazillion of the like little mini ones. So I have too many. <laughs> anyway, I kind of just was bored one night and started grabbing a bunch and like decided I wanted to try and find a way to use them up and I thought it would be fun to make like a bunch of little things that I could pre-make in batches and then I could use them in um, my junk journals and stuff. So this video is kind of going to be some ideas on how you can use up those extra Project Life cards that you seriously never like you don't know what you're ever going to do with all of them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the ones that I made and then we'll make a couple together. I made three of these like little booklet ones and see, zoom in a tiny bit, Ooh, too much. So this one, all I did was the base of it. I took three four by six project life cards and I folded them in half. Um, I think all the ones that I used were the like bifold ones that are like pre um, scored. So, but I mean, you could just fold the normal ones in half too. It doesn't matter. So I just folded them in half, put them in the order that I wanted, and then I bound them. I just poked two holes into the um, crease, tied it off in the back, and then I stuck a couple little extra things in here just for fun. I took a little Tim Holtz die cut and I glued it, and then I took a little, it's a little like, Mm, two by three journal journaling card thing from We Are Memory Keepers, I think. Just tucked it in there because it's a little pocket. <clears throat> and then I took another one of those and I rounded off the corners so that they matched. And then I just glued that on one side so now it's a little tuck spot. And then the last thing in here is I had some extra of like this I don't even know what you would call this, but I had some extra of it. So I just stapled it on and now that's like a little flip up. You can put something under it and it would look really cool with this over. There's so that. And then um, this one, I took a four by six card, folded it in half, and then I took random little paper scraps from my stash. And I just created basically like a little itty bitty mini junk journal. And this one I, um, stapled and taped a little tag to so now that's a tuck spot Oop. and I put some tabs on and then this center piece right here is a long piece that just folds in like that and then I bound it the same way and voila there you go and then this one's pretty much the same as that last one. It's just a 4x6 card with paper scraps inside. I haven't done any like anything extra. kind of wanted one that was a little bit more simple and plain. But then um, this one actually has a Velcro closure. And it's pretty sturdy, so but I like that one because it closes. Okay, so there's the three little booklets. And then... Um, this one, I took two 3x4 cards and I taped them together so that they can fold into a little booklet. I put a little tab, some stickers, some stickers inside, and there you go. You've got a little booklet. Simple little booklet. And then I did the same thing with some 4x6 cards. And then I embellished the front a little bit. They're taped together. And then on this one, I actually took another piece of ephemera I think this is Tim Holtz as well. And then um, I just created a little tuck spot with it. So I just glued it on these two edges. And I took a three by four card and stuck it in there. Super fun. And then this one's super simple. Just a four by six card, a three by four card. I glued two edges, took a little tag, a little ephemera tag, and it's a tuck spot. And then you can either, this one doesn't have any pattern on the back, so I would 
either cover that or just stick it straight onto the page like this. You could stick it straight onto a junk journal page or you can stick it into a pocket. You could stick it into another tech spot and then you got a little interactive element that can come out and I just stuck a little um, label sticker thing on it and it's good to go. And then this one is like a double pocket thing. So I took three um, four by six cards and then um, these I just cut down. So I cut like three quarters of an inch off this one and then an inch and a half off this one and I layered them so that they're flush on one side and I glued them down just like this. So now they're little pockets. And again, you could stick this straight onto a page like this or you could stick it into another pocket and have lots of other pockets, 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 and pockets. And then this one, I created a little waterfall and it's just being held down by a paper clip. So I took five three by four cards and I just put them on with some washi tape and it creates a little waterfall. And then again, you could stick this in a pocket or stick it, stick it straight on the page. If you stick it in a pocket, then you have the back to work with too. You could put something on there as well. So there's all of those. I'm going to show you a couple. So I am going to be making some um, <clears throat> like travel junk journals um, for a couple people in my family for Christmas presents. So I thought that... Um, this would be kind of fun to create a whole bunch of these in like a travel theme so I can use them in those journals. So I took out a whole bunch of like travel type of Project Life cards that I have. I actually don't think that these are Project Life brand, but they're they're same size, 4x6, 3x4 journaling cards. So I took some of these out and we're going to make some of these ideas now. Okay, so I have a three by four cards on top so I think the first thing I want the first one I want to do is I'm just going to create one of these little things and I did bring out some little extras and embellishments and stuff to um, spruce these up a bit so um, this pack of journaling cards actually came with these like window things so I'm going to put those over here I can use those as embellishments and then it also came with these like shaped cards and some pockets so I'll put those aside and I can use those so let's see I'm gonna pick two I want one that's got something graphic for the cover and then I want to make sure that the inside gives me room for journaling so that I'm zooming out a tiny bit there you go I felt like that was a little too close. Okay, there's a couple in here that are not like travel ones. I don't know how they got in here, but it's fine. I'm actually gonna use this one. It's not a travel one, but I like this side. So, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take them and I'm going to line them up. You can do it like this if you want, but I don't have like um, a, like a grid board underneath. So I'm just gonna like that, stack them on top of each other and then I have some washi right here. So I'm just gonna take a piece that's just a little bit shorter than the long ways and you can do this like you can type it up here you can do it however you want and I'm just going to stick it so that half of the washi is on this front side just gonna stack them up again and just fold it over oh if I can get them straight Perfect. Just smooth it out. Um, those are a little bit, ooh, like way crooked. What did I do? Anyway, it's good that it's washy because it can just come right off. I don't know how that happened. Oh, they're different sizes. How weird. Oh, you know what? It's because the travel ones are from We Are Memory Keepers, I think, and their cards are a little bit bigger. 
but it's okay. It's not a big deal. There you go. And then if you want, you can put another piece of washi on the inside to kind of secure it a little bit more. Mm, I think I'm going to. Whoops. Hmm. This tape never used to rip on me. Okay. I love this tape though. It's so cool. And then just bend it back and um, it'll if you do both sides it'll probably pop up for a while but just store it with something on top of it for a day or two or stick it in a pocket and it'll stay closed and then eventually it'll lay flat like this okay so there's that and hmm what do I have that I want to put in here? Okay, so I have, I, I kind of like the cover the way it is. I don't think I brought any like, I have these. Let's see what's in here. I just grabbed some random stuff. Hmm. There's like a hello. Oh, there's a geotag. All right, so these usually have a film on them, but I don't know, I might have taken all of them. Oh, no, there's the film. And it won't come off. Sorry if this video is a rough. It's my first, like, tutorial type video, so. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take this, and I think I'm going to put it up here. I'm just going to staple it on. Just one staple at the top. And then... Huh. I don't know if I want to stick this up here. How does that look? I don't really like how that looks. Mm. Maybe I can put it on the inside. I'll put it like this, maybe. And for that, I'm just going to go ahead and tape it down. And I actually brought some tabs over here. And I think I'm going to use the blue, the polka dots. And I don't mind that. It's like pretty eclectic looking. I like that. that and I usually like to staple my tabs even if they're sticky because it gives them a little extra like sturdiness and there you go that's it that's all I'm gonna do okay now I think the next one I want to do is like a pocket one like like this one <clears throat> so for that I'm going to need three 4x6 cards mm. I think what I'm going to do actually is okay so I'm going to take this one with a map on it I wish I had three with the map on it because then I could create like a hidden pocket page. Mm. I th okay. 
I know what I'm gonna do. So I really want this map to show. I want a lot of it to show. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this as my bottom piece, so I'm not gonna cut anything off of there. And then I'm going to take one of these and I'm gonna cut three quarters of an inch off of it. Okay, there, and then I'm gonna take the other one and I'm going to cut an inch and a half off. And then this will go on top of there, and then that will go on top of there. And then what I can do is I can take this piece that I cut off of this one, and I can glue it there. So now I have three pockets. Okay. So I'm actually just going to use my tape runner, and I'm going to put the tape as close to the edges as I can. And then I will line that up. Oops, a little hair. Line that up right there. And now you, there's no gap in the edges, so you can just stick things in as you wish. Now you can put this on here in so many different ways. You could stitch it. Um, you could use washi tape if you want, you could staple it, whatever you want, but I'm gonna use some glue. Just a thin line around the edges that I want adhered down. And this is the Tombow Mono uh, Liquid Glue, the Aqua one. So. Now I'm going to take my shortest piece and I'm going to do the same thing with the adhesive. And stick that one down. Right there. Alrighty. Just remove any excess from the edges. And now you have a hidden pocket. That looks so cool, I love that. See? Now you can stick whatever you want in there. Actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and... I'll do it after. Okay, so let's put that one aside to dry. And I think the next one I want to do is the waterfall, because I really like that. It's cool. And I think I'm going to use this one for the back. I don't have any like vertical ones left, but I think that'll still look pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to use this card, this one, that one's pretty cool. That one's not a travel one, but I don't really care, it doesn't bother me. That one's neat, so I need five, I need one more. And that one. So let me show you what's here. I'm going to use this one for the top one that has that. Cool. 
Now, something to keep in mind is that when you put these on here, when you go to flip them up, you're going to see the back. So if it's something you mind being upside down, then you can either cover it or you can flip it or whatever you want. But I don't really mind that it's going to be upside down. It doesn't bother me too much. So I'm just going to try and get that centered as possible. Mm -hmm. And take a piece of washi. And then just fold the washi over. And then I do like to put a second piece of washi on the top one. Because again, I feel like it adds some sturdiness. And then the next one I'm going to do is actually the bottom one. <clears throat> and you could definitely do more than five, but I feel like five is a good number for this size. So I'm actually going to take this one. And this one doesn't really have an upside down or right side up one. So I'm just going to go ahead and you're going to line it up with the bottom. And it helps to have this one down so you can try and see, like try and get it in the same position. washi stick it down for these um, the ones that are underneath I don't really feel the need to put a second piece of washi you can if you want but I don't feel the need to. I kind of just squish it down so that the gap here is filled. Okay, so now you have your first and your last one on. And then I kind of just go ahead and take my remaining ones and they're gonna go kind of like that. You're gonna stagger. So I like to move from the bottom up. It just seems it's the easiest for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take this camera one and I'm going to put it on this side because this one on this side when you flip it upside down it, there's no like right side up so I'm going to put this one on the front try and center it These move around a little bit so you could secure these with like paper clips or something if you wanted but it doesn't really bother me it's pretty easy to hold down with your hand or your finger or something so I don't feel the need okay this one I'm actually going to put on this mm. I'm going to put this one down first and then I'll decide what I want to do with the other one. And if you want to get your washi perfect too, you could totally do that. But like I said, it doesn't really bother me. So 
and I'm, mm, I'm not sure if I want to put this like this. I think that'll like look the coolest when it's closed, but I kind of feel like I want this right side up. Because the glasses, I mean, if they're upside down, it's not a big deal. But. So there is our waterfall. And I'm going to get that paper clip that I had. It disappeared. Oh, there it is. And you could definitely add more to this. You could add more pockets. Well, pockets, period. Um, I mean, you could add whatever you want to this. So I kind of just hold it closed with a paper clip. And you can keep the paper clip there when you put it into the journal too, but um, this one was doing the same thing where the top wouldn't stay up. Just stuck a paper clip on it. It's been sitting like that for a couple days. So eventually it will lay flat. So now this one is all dry. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... Put some cards in there. So, oh, that one was cool. That would have been a cool one to put on there. Put that one in there. And stick that one in there. Again, not a travel one, but it's okay. And you can stick that one. I'll stick in like that. And this you could stick in this way. I guess I really only need two, but uh, then I put this one in. There you go. That's super cool. I love that. Okay, the last one that I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna make um, one of the four by six booklets. So I looks like I only have three left anyway, so that's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold them in half. I don't have a score board or like a scoring tool or anything, but you could totally use one if you have one. Probably make things a little bit easier and cleaner looking. Now two of the cards that I have left are the same so all I did was I folded them opposite ways and then this one will go in between them. So yeah, do it like this. I kind of wanted this one in the center because then you could see the whole thing. So maybe I'll do it like this instead. And then when you open it, it'll be like the full thing. That's kind of cool stuff. So you just fold them together, put them like this. And if it bothers you that like this isn't um, straight, you could always cut that off, but it doesn't bother me. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. I'm going to take my little pokey tool, and since it's so small, I don't feel the need to hold it together with anything, so I'm just going to hold it with my hands, poke one in the top, one in the bottom, and then I sew my stuff together with a darning needle, so I'm just going to take, uh, actually I'm going to take the, the medium one because I'm going to be using Baker's Twine, so it's a little difficult to get into the skinny one. 
just a little bit easier with the medium one. Just take a length of twine. I wouldn't really recommend doing this with Baker's twine, not because it'll like not be sturdy enough or anything. It totally will. It'll work just fine, but it kind of makes it a little bit difficult to get it through. I'm actually going to do it from the back, like from the outside to the inside because I want to tie it on the outside, so. Whoops. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie it and I like tying it up at the top for these because they're so short so I just tie a knot so that it goes all the way up to the top hole and then tie a bow. And then you can cut off the excess. And if you want the bow to stay together even better, I just take a little bit of wet glue and I just stick a dot over the knot, a couple dots. And then I usually let that sit to dry and then that bow will be good forever. It doesn't really look like a bow, just kind of string hanging off, but it's fine. And you could totally like hang beads from this and whatever. You can make like a little tiny mini junk journal with Project Life cards. So I'm actually going to take one of these pockets and I think it'll look really cool in here. Like in the back maybe. And it's not really going to bother me that it's hanging out because this is probably going to end up in a pocket anyway. So I'm just going to use my tape runner on the edges. Normally I would just be patient and let the string dry first, but for the sake of quickness and doing this video, I'm, I'm not going to bother. So I'm probably going to get glue on my table, but whatever. So I'm just going to line it up maybe like a couple millimeters from the spine and line it up with the bottom. And then usually manage not to get any glue right on that edge. But I am not going to cut it off because I don't want to like disturb the pocket or anything. But I think that one of these should fit in here. So I can totally do that. One of the shaped things. Stick that in there. And then I'm going to take a little piece from this bag of ephemera that I have. I'm actually going to stick that right on there. make it pretty. <clears throat> and then on the front I had these like leaves and stuff that I wanted to put that I thought would be pretty. So I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to staple them together. Let me see if I want to put a flower on top of that or not. Yeah, I like that. Let's see. I'm going to staple the leaves together first, though. Do two. Just for good measure. And then I actually have these like number brads over here. I'm just going to choose a random number. I'll choose three. Actually, you know what? I'll choose one. I'll choose one. Because my aunt's next vacation is in January. January is the first month. 
and I am making her a travel journal for that. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm actually going to take all of these and kind of just layer them. And I'm just going to stick the brad through the center holes. Close that up. And then I will take these leaves and I could staple them to the cover. Actually, I think I might do that. I'm going to staple the leaves. So. And then I'll put a little bit of glue on the back just to make sure it's extra sturdy. Just on that bottom one. And then uh, normally I'd probably use glue dots for this, but I'm just going to, I don't have any near me. So I'm just going to take some glue, smother it around there. Make sure the one is looking proper. And I'm just going to stick that right on the bottom of the leaves. Cool. I like it. I want to add a couple more pockets. So actually, you know what? I'm going to take this. And no, I'll do it on this page, but I only need one. I'm going to do it on this page and I'm going to glue down the frame part and I'm going to leave this flap like this so that it's a tuck spot. I think that'll be cool. And this glue's awesome. You don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. Okay. There we go. And now I have this little tag that I'm just going to stick right in there I think. It looks super cool and then you can still write on these lines back here. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. I kind of want to add one more little tuck spot type thing. Uh, let see. I have these. I'm going to cut this down maybe because I want to add it right here. I think I'm going to cut it down. So I'm just going to cut it in half. It's not extra straight, but that's okay. And I'm just going to glue that in right there. And then you can still write on this area too. So. And I think that's kind of cool that you can still see the, like the blue down here. I think that looks cool. The little cut out corners. Okay. And then I have these like printed out journaling cards that I kind of want to add this one so I'm actually going to fold it in half and I'm going to stick it in like this so you can still see the little the face of the girl so that's in like that and then I have some of this like elastic with the cool like scalloped on the edge 
and I wanted to use this as a closure. So, hmm. but now I'm kind of thinking, is that like gonna look weird over the flower? Nah, I, I still wanna do it. Okay, so you could try to, I'm gonna take this out real quick so I don't staple that in. Um, you could try to make it so that this is hidden, but I'm not really going to bother. I'm just going to stick that right there and I'm going to staple it on. Two staples for sturdiness. And then I'm going to kind of wrap it around and see how long I need it. I'm just going to pull it so that it's a little bit stretched so that I know that it'll stay tight. And I'll go ahead and cut it right there. Then I'll go ahead and staple it right there. And I'm gonna try and do it. I'm gonna hold it like that so that I don't staple it down on the back. And I kind of want to keep this bottom one towards the bottom because I still want to be able to put that card in there. And then you can just move that to the back if you're working on this page right here. And that card still fits in there just great. And then you can take this, snap it around. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that. And it doesn't really bother me that it's showing. If it bothers you, you could always, I don't know, cover it with something. So there's that. And then I have these stickers. And I want to put one right here. And I kind of want to put this travel one. It says international travel. She is going to some international places. And just because it's going to be on the cover of this, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit extra adhesive and there we go so those are the three four did I do four I did four that I am going to do for you guys today I feel like that took way too long hopefully I can cut this video down so it's not super long um yeah i'm super excited this one actually came out really really cool i'm really happy with this with how this came out super cool love it all right so thank you so much for watching i hope i gave you some ideas on how you can use up your project life cards and there's so many more ways you can use them other than how I did in this video. It's just a few ideas that I came up with real quick and I thought I would share them. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already for more crafty videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.